let's try uh, doing some examples. Now in a second I'm going to ask you to pause the video and try this for yourself, but I will run through them also. Note that in order to do this you're going to have to be able to write down the formulae of each of these compounds or elements. So either have your notes ready from the previous videos or perhaps you're able to do them from your head. Okay, so pause the video now and give it a go. Alright, the first example, hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium to give magnesium chloride and hydrogen. So hydrochloric acid, that's one of our uh, common acids, its formula is HCl. Magnesium is one of the elements, it's just Mg. Remember most of the elements can be written as single atoms, it's only those diatomic seven where you have to worry about uh, anything more complicated. And that becomes magnesium chloride and hydrogen. Let's just stick in the hydrogen first because it's simpler. That's one of our diatomic seven, H2. Now for magnesium chloride, we need to work out its formula. It's an ionic compound because you can see it's made from a metal and a non-metal. So we need to work out the ions. Uh, magnesium is going to be Mg. It's in group two, so it will have a charge of two plus. Chlorine is made, uh, chloride is made of chlorine. So it'll be Cl, it's in group 7, so it's going to have a charge of 1 minus. When we do the crossover, we get a formula of MgCl2, because two chlorides are needed to balance the 2 plus charge of the magnesium. Balancing the equation, let's do the hydrogen first. On the left, we've got 1H, and on the right, we've got a hydrogen molecule, which is made up of two hydrogen atoms. So we've got one on the left and two on the right. So let's put a 2 in front of our HCl. So we've now got two hydrogens on the left and two on the right. Remember, you can't change the formula of hydrochloric acid. You can't make it H2Cl. It just doesn't work. Okay, so now let's try the chlorides. Um, we've just made this into two hydrochloric acids. Each hydrochloric acid has one chloride. So that's two chlorides on the left. On the right, the magnesium chloride also has two chlorides. So that's also balanced. And now we'll finally we'll check our magnesium. We have one on the left and we also have one on the right. So that's balanced. Okay, 